So we decided we make a quick video on problem solving because uh, lots of people have no problem if it's just subbing numbers into a formula and getting the answer. But uh, the place that people have the most problem with is knowing which formula to use and when. So hopefully this video will uh, clear that up a little bit. So whenever you come across a problem in trigonometry where you have loads of triangles staring you in the face and they're asking you to find something, you're going to go through this list. Uh, you're going to try each of these different rules in order. So you try the first one, the second one, the third one, and the fourth one. And then you will have the answer. That you'll definitely be able to find the answer with one of these tools. So the first one you're always going to try is Pythagoras. Okay, Pythagoras. That's number one. Number two you're going to try is sine, cos, tan. Sine, cos, or tan. Number three you're going to try is the sine rule. And then the last one you're always going to try is the cosine rule because it's the most complicated one just the messiest okay if you try these in this order you should be able to get every single question they ask you on the leaving cert okay pythagoras sine cos and tan they're only for right angle triangles and the other ones are for so sine rule and cosine rule can be used for other triangles as well so i'm just going to go down and draw a quick triangle and we'll I'll show you what i mean so for example i just uh, drew out this kind of nasty looking green triangle here uh, so if you get a question like this and there's loads of different triangles all attached to each other, you've no idea where to start. Uh, this is basically how you should do it. So even, even before you start looking for Pythagoras, sine, cos, tan, sine rule or cosine rule, uh, what I'd recommend first is labeling each individual point. So I'm going to label this A, I'm going to label this one B, label this C, label this one D, E and then E and then this one F. Okay, so this means that you know, uh, it, it just gives you kind of a point of reference. So then before, again, before you start trying Pythagoras, sine, cos, or tan, before you start trying to attack the whole thing in, in one piece, is break it up into little pieces. So what I'd say is I'd go triangle D, E, F, okay? And then I'd draw that triangle out. So that's going to be this triangle here. Draw it out separately of the rest of them. We see that this is a right angle triangle. We see that it has 20 degrees. We see that this side is 10, okay? And now we look for the uh, four different steps. Because if you try to do it, when there's all these other triangles in the way, it just gets way more confusing. But if you break it up one piece at a time, then you can see, okay, we can't do Pythagoras because we only have one side, but we can use sine, cos, or tan, okay? So we can use sine, cos, and tan to get this side and then this side, okay? Uh, so that's one bit of the triangle already solved. Then say, for example, I would break it up and look at this triangle here, okay? So then I'd say triangle A, E, D. And then I'd draw that one out. We have 10 here. And that seems like all we have for now, but actually, we have this angle here because if this is 50 and this is 20 a straight line has to be 180 so that means 50 plus 20 is 70 that means this angle here has to be 110 okay and as it stands we can't solve anything else with that we don't have enough pieces of information but that's all right we'll just go on to the next bit but we still know that we have this triangle broken up uh, so then i'm going to look at the triangle a c d almost spells ACDC uh, finish that with green so now we have 50 we have 15 and we have 10 okay so we can't use Pythagoras or sine cos or tan because this isn't a, a right angle triangle but we can use the sine rule so we have 10 and this side here and then 50 on this side here. That means we can get this side. And then also what we can do then is uh, we can find this angle here, okay? So we can find this angle here because 10 plus 50, again, in a triangle, there's 180 degrees overall. So that means we can find this angle here. I'm gonna call that Y. And then we can use the cosine rule if we want to find this side here. So I'm just gonna put that as C, then this C, if we look up back the diagram is the same as this line here so we have this c and then 
and so on. So I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but if you take this triangle bit by bit and solve just one little bit at a time, so doing each individual bit here, so doing, say, getting uh, using sine of 20 to find this x, and then using cos of 20 to find this x, neither of those are difficult. If you want to use the sine rule, just with 10 and a, and then 50 and 15, that isn't a difficult sum. And then once you have a, uh, and you find this angle here, it isn't a difficult sum to find C, and so on. So each individual part is just an easy sine, cos, or tan, Pythagoras, sine rule, or cosine rule. And it's just about breaking it up into small little chunks like this and then going through a checklist. And each uh, problem shouldn't be too hard if we just go through it like that. So it's all about just keeping your head and doing one little bit at a time. And yeah, if you can't find the answer straight away, then just find, say if the answer here was to find, I don't know, X here. Like you might have to find every single other side in the triangle before you find x but that's okay you just have to keep working through it like that if you don't get the answer straight away just keep going and you'll find you pick up loads of attempt marks along the way uh, and just one last thing i'll say before i go on is uh just in questions if they ask you to so say we have our stick man there and they say the angle of elevation that means so that's his viewpoint there so that's where he's looking and i'm just going to draw a horizontal line there the angle of elevation then basically is so elevation is kind of to lift something so that's the angle of elevation there just as you see it so say if they say the angle of elevation uh, from his line of sight is 30 degrees that's what that means okay and then also uh, similarly if we have another stick man over here and it says the angle of depression then depression doesn't mean being sad but it means just going down okay and that's going to be your angle of depression in this case okay so I'll just write that out angle of angle of depression uh, and the other one is angle of elevation but that's basically all there is for this video and uh, we'll see you next time for some actual real life examples angle of elevation perfect okay so hope that video helped and you should try and use those tips when we're doing the next few videos we're doing some more complicated problems um, and we're going to use these tips all the time and hopefully to solve all the problems Okay, I uh, hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time.